We're standing here in the UC Davis food processing pilot plant looking at a dough sheeting machine that is sheetotyping dough. Uh, the essence of sheetotyping dough is that we've got control over the entire process of sheeting. Control of the speed of these belts. We have these lasers that are shooting down and able to measure the precise height of this dough pad as it passes through the rollers. And each time it passes between the rollers, we have a precise measurement of exactly the width there. You see it being adjusted now. And the speed of the rollers, the speed of the belts. We know exactly how much force is being used. And so we get a precise force over area curve. Essentially, how the dough will respond if we're making bread. How the dough will respond if we're making pasta. How the dough will respond if we're making pastry. So now we have a method, not just for um, uh, breeders who want to breed to make more wheat uh, or to make their wheat more drought resistant or to make their wheat uh, more pest resistant, but also to make the food taste better. Traditions of wheat and recipes around wheat have existed since 10,000 BC. Um, in, in losing varieties that can no longer sustain due to climate change, we need to be able to capture information about wheat properties. So when we figure out how dough works, how dough makes things delicious, um, and we understand the properties that come from the flour that make the dough what it is, and the properties that come from the wheat that make the flour what it is, uh, and then ultimately this wheat is growing in the environment. So when we can figure out how to annotate wheat for the genetics and, and, the, and the phenotype of wheat and how it responds to drought and pest tolerance all the way up to how to make it delicious, then we can make better decisions about how to make our tasty food uh, that is also compatible with a good environment and good health.